Canada. It's always been a dream of mine to come to this country to fish for trout. Since being a little kid, I remember watching video after video of five plus pound brook trout being caught here. This trip means more than just the brook trout. It's a moment to spend with my best friend. This trip means the opportunity for me to teach and create memories that'll last a lifetime. I set myself aside, lead the way on this trial. If you don't know the way, we can stop and make a change. I know we walk for days. It's our first real trip since he got sent out for boot camp the summer of 2015. But now we are back on the water, creating memories. Let's go! <laughs> Here's the mat. Let's go first one of the trip. Got a little tag in the back and send him in and on his way. Catch some more fish. Let's go. Reflecting on all the miles paddled, our sore shoulders and achy backs, I can't help but realize all the creations God has put out there for us to go and explore. As people, I don't think our minds are truly happy with the modern technology and fast-paced world we live in. I think we are created to connect with the earth and be the caretaker of all these natural resources. These breaks from the fast-paced life allow my mind to reset and heal from the stresses of work and everyday life. Putting away a pillow that I use for about an hour and a half last night. Um, it's a little chilly out. Still trying to find a good spot to get some fish. And maybe a fishing license first so we don't get in trouble. Um, I don't know. I don't have much else. So we got up here. We got up here to the nip again, I don't know what, 2 a.m. last night. Uh, turns out we can't get a fishing license in town until about 9 a.m. Uh, we also don't have any service. So first time being up here, did a little bit of uh, scouting, flew the drone around, uh, got some cool videos, and now we're waiting for the uh, license shop to open up so we can get out and get fishing. Once we get that, I think we'll be good to go. Stick with us. Let's go. Nothing like the coffee from Mojo Cafe. What do you got on there, guy? About the 10th, 15th cast in after I got the hang of it, finally got a nice, nice little fish on and bring them in and get a picture. Oh, yeah. Let's go! <laughs> Here's the mat. 
let out some lines so you don't break the rod tip. So probably let out like 10 feet. Some more fish. Let's go. Ready? Yeah. Back to the depths. Damn. Oh, it's on a rock. Well, we've been, is the mic on? Yep, mic's on. We've been just casting the shoreline, kind of feeling like we weren't ever gonna catch anything again. But uh, I think we got a decent uh, brook trout on, or we got a little laker here. Uh, I haven't really been able to see his tail very great, but fingers crossed it's a nice brookie. Not quite the hog that uh, Logan caught the other day, but we're on the board to take it. He settled down here in the net. Pick him up for a quick picture. Yep. All right, so there you go. There's that uh, brook trout, solid probably. I don't know, I'd give it 18 inches and we'll uh, understand hey. to see you another day. They just feel like a log. They just <laughs> they do. Just pull them down. smaller than the one yesterday but uh we're on the board for today so hunter and i both got one they definitely they feel like some snags and stuff but uh it's about one one per hundred or 200 casts so let's see if we can find some more and let's keep at it
time. So here you guys go. Just an absolute solid Lake Nipigon fish. Uh, the bite's been pretty tough, but beautiful fish. We'll, uh, we'll get her back here, take a couple pictures and let her go. Alrighty, so we decided to mix things up a little bit. As you can tell, quite a bit of moving water behind us. Uh, we've hiked up this river, I don't know, about a mile. Not a ton of fishable water. Um, just a lot different than I'm used to, but we're here on the jack pine looking for some steelhead. Uh, it seems to be a little late. There's about a million suckers in the water, so um, hopefully we can kind of pick it apart. I know we're gonna snag some suckers, so that might be cool to watch us trip and stumble on this slippery river uh, thinking they're steelhead until we realize they're not. So hopefully we don't break a leg. Uh, we're gonna fish this fast water behind us, all Euro rod stuff, so wish us luck.
That's the pocket right there. Feel one? Give him some side pressure. Put your rod tip towards me. Yep, pull him this way. And then when you kind of get him to pull up, and I'm like right behind him, just let him go back into the back. <laughs> Let's go, first one on the fly today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. What color fly? Is that that white one? Top secret, can't tell you. What a beautiful fish. Hunter's always putting me on them, so. You ever want a tour or a guide? He's probably one of the best ones out there. Teach you how to cast and everything. Look at that thing. He wanted to go home. Time for me to catch his buddies. We were thinking about heading out of here, but uh, we uh, we're gonna get out and try and catch some more. So wish us luck.